everyone welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title down below this is not going to be a cooking video but it is going to be a cash envelope sinking fun stuffing video so I am new to this this is my first time organizing my money in this system I'm so excited I've been researching it like absolute crazy and I just wanted to film it because one there is like only a very small few of people in Australia do this as videos um, and two I'm just obsessed with these videos and I just feel like it's a really good easy way to motivate other people to teach people and just inspiration and just to motivate myself as well so I'm going to be doing it for my first time this time as a video to kind of also document my, document my journey but since this obviously is a cooking channel I don't I'm not sure if I am going to do it fortnightly we get paid fortnightly so I don't know if each fortnight I'll keep just doing a video and just share it and obviously do my cooking in between or if after this one I might I'll definitely still film them fortnightly but maybe I'll just combine it into like a month so I do the two fortnights in one and then it's just like a cap over from the month and just upload it monthly so I'm not too sure yet on which way it's gonna go but Hopefully this system works for us. I feel like it will. I'm so excited to do this and I'm just going to get straight into it. Okay, so um, this is pretty much all I've got set up so far. So this is my bank domination slip that I just set up. Although when I went to the bank, I obviously have here 13 $20 notes to make it $260 worth in $20 notes, but they didn't have that. So I got more tens and fives to work with. And the total I'll be stuffing today is $550. And because this is my first time, I just made these envelopes just with normal... Actually, I need this paper. Um... So yeah, because I've, um, this is my first time, I just decided to just make these envelopes. Um, like this but definitely a binder and all the fancy plastic envelopes people use I'm definitely interested to get but I'm just gonna do this for a bit see if this does work for us this system um, and then if it does then that's something that I can start budgeting for so I'll lay the money out as well and I just also want to do a disclaimer, I obviously pay rent and bills and stuff, but my mum actually helps us with our money, so I transfer her money for rent and bills, and she manages the most of my bills. Um, so like, car maintenance, she manages for me, actually this is not, I need to get them all the right way. Car maintenance, she manages for me um because she has like for the excess amount of money from bills she will keep aside oh this is annoying how I've got a mix of old notes and new notes <laughs> um so yeah car maintenance she does uh the house I'm renting is her house so I just pay rent directly to her like a private thing it's not for real estate or anything and then she pays like our internet bill, our, no, yeah, that's right, our internet bill, um, our electric bill. She pays water because this is renting. And we don't have gas at this property, it's just all electric. Um, well, I'm trying to think what else does she pay for. I think that's pretty much the most of it. But, <clears throat> yeah, so she, she manages a big chunk of our money. So I automatically transfer her that money. And then this is pretty much the leftover. So the envelope I've made to stuff is groceries, kitties, um, Zeke's on a medicated diet. So that's pretty expensive to the normal cat food. And I got two cats. I got Luna and Zeke. I'll insert a photo of them here so you can have a look at them. Um... So yeah, this is going to be primarily for the food once it builds up a little bit. Then obviously if there's any more unexpected vet visits, which we have had a lot in the last three months, um, which because my mum also does manage like the excess money from bills and stuff, 
it goes into like a little savings account so it has been coming out there but that's pretty much empty now because of the vet, vid vet visits we have but I would like to just have some of my own money for vets as well so they'll slowly get built up over time for that fuel thrifting um, I am a reseller so I do go to the op shops quite a fair bit I do spend a lot well pretty much most of my op shop money thrifting money like the sales I make from eBay does go back into it but because I'm really trying to expand it as well I'm using my own money to help go into it to build up the business a bit uh, gift funds so that'll be for Christmas and gifts throughout the year and our personal account so this is if we do want some new clothes a lot of the times we get our clothes from the op shops while we're there that'll just come out of the thrifting envelope um, and a lot of things like for the kitchen for example if I see something like last week I actually brought I'll just show you it's right here this sign it's so cute espresso yourself I think it was like two dollars so I brought that from the up shop that would if I were to see something like that that is personal like just for our own personal use not so much the business it'll still just come from the thrifting envelope um, but the personal is if we were wanting some brand new clothes, like if we need undies or new shoes, if there's just things we want. So I'm really into board games, so if there's if this saves up for a bit and I want to splurge and buy myself a new board game, I can. Or like this example, if I do keep doing this and I do want to get nice envelopes like from Etsy or something, I definitely want to support like someone that hand makes them. Um, I can use that money to go towards that. And that's it for today. In the future, I definitely want to do other envelopes like stuff for the yard and for the house. Um, and maybe like a little pocket money just for Nick and I rather than having it combined in the personal. We'll just see how this goes first. But because this is kind of a small paycheck, this is for the fortnight as well. I don't know if I've said that or not. Um, I'm just going to start off with these ones. So let's start stuffing. So with groceries, <laughs> I don't know. They just look so like funny. But I'll quickly just show the behind so I also put tapes on there little envelope things I think that's so cute from behind the front not so much I'm not fancy with handwriting or anything but that's fine so with groceries I got a slip in each as well and I've already put it so an arrow up because I'm adding money I could have just done like a plus sign plus sign or a minus sign but for some reason I decided to do arrows so I've got today's date and actually I think that's yesterday's date what's the date today I oh, know that is today's date. So um, I'd, I'd done all this last night. So today's day and how much I'll be putting in. So groceries, I'm going to be putting in two hundred dollars. Um, I was going to use all twenties, but obviously I didn't get the twenties that I wanted. Two, four, six. So we got 100, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. So it's 200 together. Shall I do it like this? That is groceries done. <clears throat> Next for the kitties, they are getting $75. Um, with the food... It's about $75 each fortnight um, for the food, except I worked out if I buy it each fortnight for three fortnights, then on the fourth fortnight they'll have enough left over from the other three fortnights where I don't need to buy them anything. So that's why this will eventually start accumulating some money if I do stick at $75 each fortnight, even if I don't need to give them any food. Um, it can just yeah start accumulating for some vet bills and then that way the account that my mum's doing for me can go towards other things and that's also purely just their food not their litter because the litter that just comes out of the groceries because I get that from the grocery store um, fuel I'll do $60 actually I won't use that one I'll just go Oh. 
Wait, what am I? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. And with you as well, I live in a small town where everything's ten minutes away from each other. So hopefully this will be enough. We do generally spend more than sixty dollars a fortnight in fuel, but I'm hoping if I allocate myself a smaller amount, hopefully <laughs> I'll stop driving around pointlessly so much to save some money that way as well thrifting is going to get a hundred dollars because like i said i'm trying to really bulk it up and it's not just for business like i explained if we see something that we like while we're there but because it is op shops and i spend a small amount at each store mostly it's going to be out of fives and tens so we'll go we'll go 50 Make sure I got that right. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Um, for gifts as well, on my notebook, uh, Gifts will be a Christmas goal of $500 at the start of December. So I worked out there's 23 pays between now and the 1st of December. Which then means I'll need to save $21.74 per pay. Plus I just thought I'd do $10 each fortnight for gifts throughout the year. And then I've rounded it up because any coins or change throughout the fortnight will stay in my purse. I won't keep change in the envelopes. Um, but we will at the end any coins i got left that will just go into a jar for savings um so yeah i don't want to deal with coins in the envelope so i just rounded gifts up so that'd be 35. Um, i got a lot more smaller notes than i wanted but that's okay 10 20 35. So that's going to be very good that I'm starting to do this. I'm probably most excited about this envelope, to be honest, because Christmas time last year sucked. I was so stressed out. And personal account is getting, where am I on my list? Um, $30. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 10, 15, 20, oh, hang on, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm doing this backwards now. $30. So 30, 30, 30. that's going to be very good as well. I'm going to try my hardest to not even touch this 30 just so next fortnight I do it, it actually builds up a bit. So I'm very excited about that as well. So that is all my envelopes and as you can see I've got $55 left so this is going to go straight into our savings. Um, so yeah, that won't get stuck, that will just go into our savings tin. It's kind of empty, it did have money in there but we all naughty and dipped into it. So that's currently empty, this will go back to start building up the savings and then next fortnight as well i might show you guys the 10 or once it builds up a little bit and then we can count that every now and then but not not every time just every now and then so yeah that goes straight into my savings and then that's everything um so yeah this is i don't know if you guys can see from there i'll just show you everything i suppose our combined income is this amount so f plus with rent and bills 620 f plus miscellaneous um which includes Netflix, Canva, WWE, Microsoft and car insurance. My car insurance comes out each fortnight and then the rest is monthly. I haven't figured out which subscription, these are like the four things we subscribe to, which things we are, like when they come out. So I do have to start keeping an eye on that. But that's why I want to keep $100 on my card for when they do come out. And then it can also be like a buffer as well if need be. 
because I'm pretty certain WWE did come out last week and Microsoft was either last week or the week before. So I, I know those two definitely won't be coming out this pay. Um, but Netflix and Canva, I'm not sure they have, they might come out this pay, maybe next pay. Not, yeah, not too sure. I need to kind of take note exactly when those things come out. And then I saw an IOU, so I was supposed to take that out in cash, but I forgot because it wasn't on my cash slip for stuffing. So I will do that later, but that's... Yeah, that's not going to be stuffing. So, <clears throat> I suppose that will be it for this video because they're all nice and stuffed now. So, it wasn't as exciting as others, other videos because this is my first time. But then this also just goes to show, like, this is a star and my envelopes definitely aren't the prettiest like you've just seen. But it, it's something. And I didn't want to go out and just buy envelopes straight away because I wanted to start this sooner rather than later. And I didn't want to, um, I just want to do it to make sure the system does work for us. And also I'll quickly mention, I'm not going to keep all of this on me at a time. So today I'm going to do my grocery shopping. The cats don't need food today, so I can do that a different day. I don't need fuel just yet. I'm going to go thrifting, not looking at gifts. And I'm not wanting to touch my personal account envelopes. So these two will go on my purse because this is what I am going to do pretty much as soon as I finish filming. And then as soon as I get home, I'll take them out of my purse, add them with this, and I'm going to have to find a hiding spot somewhere in the house for all of this stuff. Um, but that's just kind of how I'm going to work, work this situation out. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments as well if you were... Do you want me to do this like videos each fortnight or if you want me to just combine it and upload it once a month for updates? <sighs> I'm out of breath. I talk a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.